mixed tenses exercises. Before you attempt these exercises, please make sure that you watch the revision video on all the English tenses. If you haven't done that yet, you can click on this image to go and watch that video. Also, after you've done the exercises, please make sure that you write in the comment section how you did. Right then, let's begin. Exercise 1 Verb to wait for the bus. Let's begin with the sentence I wait for the bus every day. A sentence in the present simple tense. In the next exercises, I'm going to change the time marker. And you need to give me the correct tense to go with that time marker. Okay. Number one. I for the bus yesterday. I waited for the bus yesterday. Past simple. Number two. Maybe I for the bus tomorrow. Maybe I will wait for the bus tomorrow. Future simple. Number three. I for the bus at the moment. I am waiting for the bus at the moment. Present continuous. Number four. I for the bus when you called. I was waiting for the bus when you called. Past continuous. Number five. I for the bus again, this time tomorrow. I will be waiting for the bus again, this time tomorrow. Future continuous. Number six. I for the bus many times in my life. I have waited for the bus many times in my life. Present perfect. Number seven. I for the bus before I took a taxi. I had waited for the bus before I took a taxi. Pass perfect. Number eight. If the bus doesn't come, I for the bus for no reason. If the bus doesn't come, I will have waited for the bus for no reason. Future perfect. Number nine. I for the bus since nine o'clock. I have been waiting for the bus since nine o'clock. Present perfect continuous. Number 10. I for the bus for an hour when it finally arrived. I had been waiting for the bus for an hour when it finally arrived. Past perfect continuous. 
Number 11. By 10 o'clock, I for the bus for 45 minutes. By 10 o'clock, I will have been waiting for the bus for 45 minutes. Future perfect continuous. And finally, number 12. Have you decided to take the train? No, I take the bus. No, I am going to take the bus. Going to future. Right then, let's move on to exercise 2. Verb to visit London. She visits London once a year. Present simple. As with the previous exercise, I'm going to change the time marker and you're going to give me the right tense. Let's begin. Number 13. She, currently, London. She is currently visiting London. Present continuous. Number 14. She, London several times in the past. She has visited London several times in the past. Present perfect. Number 15. She, London since Monday. She has been visiting London since Monday. Present perfect continuous. Number 16. She, London, three years ago. She visited London three years ago. Past simple. Number 17. She, London, when she met him. She was visiting London when she met him. Past continuous. Number 18. She, London, once, before she moved to England. She had visited London once before she moved to England. Past perfect. Number 19. She, London, for a few days when she had to return home. She had been visiting London for a few days when she had to return home. Past perfect continuous. Number 20. She, probably London next year. She will probably visit London next year. Future simple. Number 21. She, London, this time next year. She will be visiting London this time next year. Future continuous. Number 22. She, London six times by the end of this year.
She will have visited London six times by the end of this year. Future Perfect Number 23 By tomorrow morning, she London for five days She will have been visiting London for five days. Future Perfect continues. Number 24 Has she arranged her day trip tomorrow? Yes, she... London with a guide. She is visiting London with a guide. Present continuous with a future time marker. And finally, number 25. Has she decided where to go next year? Yes, she... London again. She is going to visit London again. Going to future. That's the end of our exercise. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you know, what you can do next is to go to our website, anglolink.com, for further exercises. You will find similar exercises to what you've just done in Anglophile 105. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.